Hi, my name is Rick Bentley and I'm the TV and film critic for the Fresno Bee. It's my great honor to welcome you to what I'm sure will become an annual event, the Scoopies. It's Fresno Bee's High School Film Festival. Now many of you in the audience have submitted films in the categories that have been judged by experts in the field of TV and film production. We have categories to present including the prestigious Best in Show. Now before we get started, there are a couple of quick announcements I have to make. I know this is boring, and you just want the awards to be started, but I'm told if we don't give out these announcements, the festival will have to be shut down. First, oh, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, I'm getting an alert from the Fresno Bee. I, I need to take this. Uh, just a second to see what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's nothing. Just stay calm and please remain in your seats. Oh, oh. that's the Fresno B, and there's a report. Okay, okay, I know this is going to sound crazy, but the Fresno B is reporting that a, a B-NATO has been spotted. This is a rare occurrence. I'm sure you're all going to be okay, but just to make sure, could somebody make sure all the doors are, are closed? Okay, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to cut away from the film festival just a moment. I'm being told that we have somebody that has some more information. In fact, what we're going to do is go to Bethany Clough right now, who's with a local B-NATO expert, Angelo Stalas. Angelo, what can you tell us about the reports of the B-NATO? You know, Bethany, it seems this B-NATO is uh, traveling across the city and it, it's leaving behind a honey of a mess. Now, I've never heard of a B-NATO before. Has this happened before? It has. There is great buzz about the B-NATO of 1927. Uh, that one lasted for three years. And uh, after only a few weeks, people broke out in hives. And then in uh, 1957, there was a B-NATO that was turned into the movie The Sting. Should people be worried? Uh, not really. Uh, only those, the, the people who would be in danger would be only those who are attending some sort of an award show. Uh, but, uh, you know, bees are naturally attracted to the sweet smell of success. Well, there you have it. Back to you, Rick. Thank you, Bethany. That was certainly informative. Now, I've been alerted that the Fresno Bee has posted several pictures on the website uh, of what this bee NATO is doing to our city. Let's take a look at some of those now. I'm really sorry you had to see that. Do we? Oh, wait, wait. I, I do think we have another report. Uh, and I'm told that we're going to get right to the heart of this b NATO threat. So tell me, Dr. Beeman, you are the world's leading authority on b NATOs. Can you tell us what's happening here? Yes, I've been able to trace the b NATO to its source. And I've managed to secure this piece of video. Horrible. No, this is this is good stuff. I mean, I this know. kid if is If by good gold. you mean horrible, then I it's know, I horrible. I like it. I really? mean, I've I've seen better, obviously. Okay, first but off, we said no nudity, no blood, no. True, okay. but, but the way they do it, this well. is character development in my book. Now, if we jump ahead a few days, you'll see what happens when the judges spend so much time trying to pick a winner. They turn into zombies. It seems that zombies release a chemical compound called corpsium. And corpsium drives bees into a furor, causing them to fly in circles at such a rapid rate that it causes tornado-like conditions. Fortunately, there is a cure. We had the judges read the Fresno Bee comic section, and they laughed so hard they returned to normal. And when the zombie threat is over, the bees also return to normal. <laughs> Once again, the Fresno Bee comic section has saved the world. Well, there you have it. Another reason why print journalism should never die. The world needs it. Back to you, Rick.
Oh, <laughs> I, I was ne never worried. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, I guess it's time to get back to those pesky announcements. Uh, uh oh, you know what? Uh, let's forget the announcements and let's just start the. Let's just start the awards show. Okay, everybody. Good luck. <laughs>